Hello guys and welcome to a new video. I'm Max from SketchUp TV and today we are doing a new sketch and principle UI animation tutorial and I want to show you a new screen transition and in the second part of this series we are doing the parallax uh, scroll effect but at first let's just start with the screen transition and I prepared a prototype in principle right here that represents the transition that we will, will do right now so we have a menu of different people right here and uh, we can click such a menu point for example this one and we have a nice sliding animation of the content of the profile page of this for example photographer <clears throat> and we can go back and play it again you see that all parts slide up quite nicely and this is the screen transition and animation that we will do right now okay let's get in I will just show you the sketch file that we have that I prepared it's linked down in the description it's for free so you can just download it right now we have a screen menu right here and a screen profile and I pre already prepared the parts that we are going to export so we have the menu point the, like the background and the, the name and we will export these two things and the menu itself the whole screen and in our profile screen you uh, we will need to um, separately export the header image because it's the same in image that we see right here I will show you later why we need uh, the same image then we will have to export this top bar because we want to fade it in nicely and we export everything with the background image um, having it invisible for the um, scrolling effect that we will do later okay so once we exported it I already did that and have it right here let's just uh, make a, a new file <clears throat> There we have it. So we just um, go into our export folder, and here we have our screens. Okay. So we have everything right here. Name it at 2x for a correct import to a principle. I already did that. And the next thing that we will do is just. Uh, Drag and dragging and dropping the different images to our first artboard and that will be the menu of course so we have the menu uh, itself right here drag it in we just reposition it nicely and now we just drag and drop the other parts so we have the item itself correct the position and the name so it looks good yeah that's good okay so basically that's the first screen for our animation and now we want to use the second screen our profile page and I will just have to give it a quick look okay here we don't have the status bar and so on and here we have it yeah so I will delete that right here and drag and drop this one just in the area next to our screen this generates a new artboard and our screen is just there placed at the top just how we want it okay let's drag and drop the other parts so our top bar that will be in the middle and our background image that's right here just drag and drop it reposition it and uh, change 
it to the lowest position in our layer hier hierarchy. Okay, so here we have our two screens that we will animate right now. And what we will do is to create a link of this area, so of the background image and the name, to this screen. And what we will do is just to group these two things up. Hit, I, I will just um, show you the keystrokes right now. One second, please. So just the keystrokes, it's on, and I think you are now able to see what I'm doing on my keyboard. So hit Command G to group them up. And let's just click this icon and tab, drag it onto the screen right here. You see, you can navigate. We want this screen, drop it, and we have animation right here. Okay. But what we will do now is to just um, give these names, uh, give them the same names. So we have this image right here and it's basically the same image and to give this um, transition and animation between these two images we have to give them the same name so I just call this image free because it's easier and now what you will see is that if we click right here the only thing that should happen is that um, this image gets a new position that will slide up a bit and that, that uh, the height will uh, go up. The other parts will just um, plink in. So if you click it, you see only this one is animated right now. Let's show it again. So what I want to do right now is to give the top bar an animation because it looks really hard like it's just there, you know. So I copy the top bar layer and paste it on our first screen. Then we set the opacity to 0% <laughs> and all that's happening right now is just done automatically. We don't have to do something else. We can click animate and see that the top bar opacity has changed. So if I click it right now, you see it's fading in. Let's do it with a slight delay. Now you see the effect that's uh, really working well. I see that we have to reposition this like a bit. Just um, select both and reposition them correctly. Okay, so just give this um, a nice length of maybe this one. Okay, it's just test it out. Okay, looks great. Nice. The next thing that we will do is um, to let the profile page slide in from the bottom. So we copy this uh, layer right here and we paste it just, uh, yeah, just at the top again. And the next thing that we will do is to drag this down to the bottom because we want to slide it in from the bottom and just place it so we can see it in our first screen like this. And now just we just test it out and you will see that the profile area is just sliding up nicely. But what you will see in detail is that um, the background is just white and that's not what I really want right here. Just look at the background that's behind uh, the profile area. It's just white and it blinks in everywhere. So what we do is just copying this menu layer and pasting it just below everything in our second screen. And what this does is that it just looks like that it this that the profile page opens above this screen okay so we click it again and you see now it looks really nice we have a, a nice animation and the screen isn't like popping in blinking in it's just a great animation so 
So now we can also change um, the length of the animation a bit to give it a nice effect. I think that's a bit too slow right here. Just go back. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay, just to demonstrate this effect to you again. Oops, sorry. I will just make this slightly bigger. And now we s you can see the effect, the tra screen transition from the menu item to our profile page. So we click this and everything slides in nicely. Just uh, minimize all these screens right here and show it to you again because it's really easy to animate things and screens in principle. I can only recommend you buying this program and testing it out. Click it and everything slides in very nicely. Okay. In the next tutorial we are doing a parallax uh, scrolling animation for this screen right here. So be sure to check it out. It comes out on next Monday. So next Monday is the 3rd of October. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> you see that I'm recording this on Saturday. The This one just came out on Monday, so the 28th. And the parallax scrolling animation will come out on the 5th of October. Okay, there you will see this tutorial. Um, it will also be the linked then in this video when it came out and Yeah, I would just thank you for your attention. Thank you for uh, listening Thank you for being there and supporting SketchUp TV. I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next tutorials You will see a little screen now that shows some other videos and a button to subscribe uh, and I want to say that if you want to see more tutorial videos just hit the subscribe button or give a thumb up on this video and we see us next time on Mondays 10 a.m. European time. Okay guys, thanks for listening. See you!